I'm just showing you quickly a bit of an overview of inspiration as a uh, concept mapping or mind mapping tool. So what you're looking at there is the start of the app, one of the um, home screens, and you can see there that there's a whole folder of templates, which is one of the, uh, the really valuable options that you can take within inspiration. So if I tap on the templates, you can see that one of the first ones that I see is the English biography tool. So it's letting children actually have a um, beginning genre structure for creating a biography. Another one that I'm looking at is um, a character analysis there and you can see that it, it has it set up and the children can replace that uh, picture with their own picture of the character they're working on. Another one that might be useful for curriculum units that I can think of at the moment would be a history analysis, so a civilization analysis. Another one there, as I just briefly have a look, would be a a thinking mind map uh, using the five W strategy. Another one would be a family tree. Uh, Elsa identified that one as being useful for an upcoming year one unit. Uh, one of the really valuable things to, if you're using one of these templates is that if you actually open it and start using it, you can, you've got the visual version of it there as a mind map, but if you go up in the top left hand corner there and next to the little visual icon, if you tap on the text um, option, you'll actually see the mind map created as text, which gives them the representation of those main ideas and subtopics actually down the page, which can create um, a situation where you're differentiating and you're catering for different styles of learning. And that's all. I'll leave um, another way of using inspiration for a later screencast. Thanks.